lipids, and as we all know, like uh, proteins or DNAs are basic components of our body. But in the lipid biology field, there are still some fundamental questions related to lipid activities are not fully resolved. And in this project, uh, we try to break the technical barrier and introduce some new chemical biology technique to address this issue. Lipids are small molecules, and they are very uh, mobile and chemically difficult to modify without altering its functions. Also, uh, the genetic knockout, while it works for the proteins, it's inefficient to uh, affect the lipid function at a single molecule level. We uh, introduced a site-specific photo-oncaging system where we can localize the lipid precursor inside a specific organelle lysosome, uh, where we can uh, release this precursor by a flash of light and then we can use a mass spec to check uh, the metabolites of this spingolin, for example. We provide the direct evidence for the first time that uh, people released from different subcellular locations such as the lysosome or mitochondria indeed could have distinct uh, metabolic functions. And also our results indicate that when spingolin is released from within the lysosome, then it is quickly metabolized into a ceramide and into the specific species, which is different if you uh, release the lipid or introduce the lipid from the other subcellular compartment. Since the techniques to study uh, lipid function at the subcellular level is missing, and our technique which combines synthetic chemistry and genetic knockout and using CRISPR-Cas9 system, and using a mass spec to track the lipid metabolites. And I think our uh, technique could serve as a framework in a broad sense to study lipid activity and the functions. <laughs>